Villainous Vikings, Voyage of Valhalla. A lot of V's going on there from Victory Point Games. Um, I've got to say, Victory Point's been coming out with some really nice uh, production values. You can see uh, everything's in shrink. Um, nice title, good boxing. Uh, the game's supposed to be 45 minutes to 60. Uh, it's three to five players, ages 13 and up. So let me cut this bad boy open. Keep her on camera, sorry. See if we can get it open. Um, oh boy, we're gonna end up damaging something here. Watch out. All right, we'll get her open here. Now, one thing Victory Point is known for is they do laser cutting on like a wooden type cardboard. Usually has a little bit of soot. I have absolutely no problems with that. They're usually very well cut. So we're gonna see if that is part of what's going on here. We got the traditional kind of slip cover that's going on. Uh, makes it much more affordable to be quite honest with you. And let's see what we got going on here. So we got our rule book. Everything fits in nice in color. So. Um, kind of a typical page that's just been uh, folded in, but it looks really nice. Kind of slick paper. See if you can get that in there. Uh, how many pages? 18, counting this back little uh, kind of sequence of battle. Always nice for a reference sheet, if you can see that. Um, interesting. We got some of those, it's like uh, dice that are cubes that you end up putting the stickers on. So some people hate those. I don't mind them, especially sometimes the stickers are pretty cool. We'll see what they are in here. And let's see. So we got a little baggie that's got some more stuff inside. We've got cards which, with uh, kind of like wax paper wrapping around them. Wow, substantial. Ragnar, Sven Folkbeard. It looks like Personas that you're going to be playing. Make sure I keep it in frame. Uh, nice quality. Thick. Nice. Feels good. Wow, scary. Not totally up on Viking lore. Whew. Eric the Red. Okay. All right, so there we go. Some of those cards. Let's see what else is in here. I may not take these other ones off. Well, let's take at least one of them off. Looks like they're going to be similar. Just one's red. I'm telling you, this paper is stout. Okay, backing. Uh, the backing says this is age one. Not sure what we got. Age two going on here. It's kind of some ship art. Interesting. I like the color scheme. Very nice. And we got age one cards, age two backing cards. We'll show you the other side of these in a second. So what are we looking at here? Constantinople, Vinland. Okay, looks like uh, locations. Some individuals you're going to run across. Something to do with the ships. Very nice. I'm really liking the uh, color scheme. The layout is very impressive. Huh. Okay, now i got to see what the other one is. We'll try to move through this quickly, but so very impressed, very impressed with the quality. Again, heavy wax paper. We're dealing again with similar setup here. All right, looks like more of the same. More locations, more cards. Cool. All right, let's see what else we got. All right, uh, it says duplicate stickers. These look like what's going to go on the face of the dice. It's got to be because we got the black, we got the red, and then we should have white under here. And I bet you these go on the white. Yep, white dice, if I would read, red dice. Black dice, so all real self-sufficient. These are what your stickers are going to be for your dice. Good to go. We've got a little ad here. Dawn of the Zeds, by the way. Great game, and they just came out with their third uh, like iteration of it. Um, solitaire game, but nice little ad. All right. Sure enough. Do we have any soot? No, we do not. 
these are um, they're more like wood than cardboard but they are cardboard let me see yeah we got just a touch of soot but I'm telling you when you get these the impressiveness of the, what they can do with these counters is just I mean phenomenal you can see already you've got I'm gonna these are little stands for them um, let me punch out one more of these I try to be a little more careful with these even though they're real stout the board that they're in is stout as well I mean, just check that out. So very, very nice. The quality, like I said, I dig these. As long as you don't mind a little bit of the soot. They usually give you a little napkin in here somewhere to wipe these off. So this has become one of the highlights. Some people didn't like it before. And uh, I got to tell you, I've really warmed up to it. They're doing great color here as well. Wonderful. Let's see what else we got. All right, their board. Um, we'll see what they got here. They usually got a standard board that's going to go together, kind of like a puzzle piece. And then sometimes they include a paper map as well that folds out. We'll see what we got here. Nope, looks like this is going to be the... Uh, so these are, again, of the same. It's almost like a wood, but uh, it's a very stiff cardboard. Again, uh, very much like thin wood. So these are going to piece together. Again, very nice color palette. All right. I'm not going to put this together now. And hello, there's the famous wipes a lot. This is what you can do to clean the soot off your counters. I always throw it in there. So let me put this board together real quick just to give you a, see how big this map is going to be. And they're usually pretty self-explanatory when they're going together. Hello. How good do I do at puzzles? So pretty darn easy. And once we get this on here, we'll take a look. And boom, you can see. So not a giant board, you can tell by my hands, but substantial. Goes together well. Not much of an edge here. Very nice. All right. Villainous Vikings with great little boats. Got it.